I can bet with you that maybe you are a little bit afraid to paint, to draw. How about trying to do some beautiful tulips with me? Not difficult. Look, I'm just doing three sort of um, petals with one color and then I'm gonna grab my pencil for the other color it's that simple as you see and I think when you start adding colors and when you start adding your paints to it you will see that it is actually super pretty let's do that now I have a brush and I have some watercolors here are my watercolors. I'm going to use these and <laughs> I'm going to use these and these are Daniel Smith watercolors but you can use any watercolors you have honestly. Use what you have I suggest that. There we go. So this technique is great because not only you are able to um, draw but also paint color in I love that I really love that technique it is my favorite recent as well so you can draw and paint at the same time and I like connecting these two ideas with each other oops I went a little too much and if that happens you can try and get your maybe watercolor I don't know if it's gonna work but we can try to clean it off it is working actually you see there we go <laughs> good job Marta now some water now there we go and we're gonna do the same thing with our green leaves so we have now these mm, mm, crayons are not watercolor or anything like that they are just regular crayons so that's why the color doesn't uh, react uh, the crayon doesn't react with water for that reason and voila <laughs> There we go. That is quite pretty, I think. I could have added the green here a little bit more so it would be going, but it's nice like that. I love this. There we go. You can lift up some pigment water on your brush and that's it. Now this is like five minutes project. Uh, literally let's try that again I'm gonna dry these and let's do it once more with a different color how is that no I love it I love them now one thing also that I love doing is I love and adore doodling so let's doodle around that I also love doodling doubles so I'm going like twice around it and have like a double sort of idea now my pigment is still wet and honestly I don't mind that because it is giving me uh, sometimes this watercolory effect for my um, for my pen so I don't mind that now we're gonna go down same for here and there we go and same on this side a little bit of doodles now and this one is five minutes drawing doodling tulips I think the easiest tulips you can ever get so I absolutely love them
no. So here is that. Love it. I'm just thinking how about adding a touch of a touch of color like let's say hmm let's say like a delicate pink like here like really we're talking like really oh there we go like touches like touch 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 like really really delicate and all there we go so like a tint of color really <laughs> and plenty of water so it's gonna go around and smoosh around and all now you could use a different background color like blue like sky uh, we can do that as well and I'm touching accidentally or not a little bit of that uh, drawing uh, of that pen and that's okay because it kind of dissolves as well and it looks pretty I think so it's fine Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of uh, loosen up uh, design and I love that, to be honest. Gorgeous! How is that? I think it is so pretty. So, so, very pretty. I'm gonna add maybe a touch of color in here. And that's it. Let's try this and let's see. I think it would be nice to have a little bit of yellow tint as well in places like this sort of thing Oh, that is so beautiful love it super now let's try let's try this let's get our tape down no tape off <laughs> and let's see let's reveal our beautiful bookmark because it is actually like a bookmark right oh wow I love it I absolutely adore this how about making this gorgeous looking flower it's gonna be like I don't know maybe like a rose but eh, not necessarily a rose but something similar I guess something alike definitely something very very pretty it's a rose from our let's say <laughs> from our imagination it is so gorgeous okay and the next one could be to have like maybe kind of rose leaves and maybe one more oh I love that now let's grab some brush let's start painting there we go I think I'm gonna just grab some of this pigment here and then I'm gonna drag with wet brush a little bit here and there trying to see if I can have my pigment um, washed <laughs> with my water I like that, I love the colors here really nice it's a gorgeous blue and I think I'm gonna grab some more water and just try to dilute these and get them working like that so pretty there we go I'm just thinking how about adding another shade color something something maybe like like in a few places there we go like not everywhere but maybe in a few places there we go and now I have to say that I'm practicing these flowers and I really truly enjoy the process of learning 
everything because it, it is a new thing for me truthfully like I'm just starting with the flowers and I'm so enjoying that I hope in the future to have some more flowers and more ideas and just coming up with these great little um, tutorials I hope you will like that because I truly enjoy the process of watercolors and doodling and the drawing and just mixing different mediums like now a little bit of um, watercolors and also a touch of some um, crayons I like that the coloring pencils to be used like it's really I like that I like the idea of mixing different supplies and different uh, techniques I truly love that. Now, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, how about adding actually this delicate blue? Oh no, wait, maybe I'm gonna add, I'm just thinking now out loud since we have the maybe this we, we will do a touch of blue for the background here mm -hmm. that could be nice that could be nice indeed so let's do that now flat brush no this one is not flat but it's round yeah it is round flat brush it's a it's bigger surface covered so I like that now with the color no. I think I'm gonna as well do a little bit of doodles because because why not? <laughs> so let's have a little bit of doodles around. It would probably be better to wait till it's dry, but knowing me and I love how the pigment runs and you can get different effects. I like having it now being used rather than wait when it's fully fully dry. It's okay to wait sometimes and it's okay sometimes to just go for it and have the lovely unexpected maybe effects. It, I guess it depends what you love, what you like. No. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Now, I think we can call this this one nearly done and finished, except that I'm thinking that it would be nice to have a little touch of that water here so that this pen, black pen thing, it's kind of slightly. Um, slightly the, the pigment is diluted and it's going on our project and I love that very much beautiful beautiful let's try this okay let's have our tapes removed there we go that is so pretty I think it looks way even nicer because it is um, with the background and also because um, because it's uh, doodled and because it has the outline kind of smudged and I love that I don't know which I prefer more to be honest okay I think let's make flower number three I think I have an idea for the other flower or flowers we shall see 
I think I'm gonna go for a kind of flower in this shape. There we go. That's lovely. And we can do, I think, one more, a smaller version of it. Hmm, I like that. We could maybe have one more like this. Something maybe even like that. Okay, let's see what we have here. I've got some, um, oopsie, some purple here. I forgot to do this then. I'll do it in a second, that's okay. Now, and let's clean this off. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. And some yellow. No, super. Okay, let's do some green as well. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Super. <laughs> and maybe... Like this. Something of this sort. I like that. Okay. And we could have a little bit of maybe... Maybe this green. I'm trying to have each of these ideas slightly different from each other. Now adding pigment and then water. Lovely, and you can add some other color if you feel like it. I think I added too much, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. If it's too much, grab it back on. Put some other color maybe or something and see we can have a touch of that here maybe like that there we go and again if you feel like it's too much clean it off Mm -hmm. Lovely. And I think it would be possibly very nice if we could have a touch of oopsie. <laughs> this is a, this is not a touch. This is like a massive purple blob <laughs> going around. So I think we need some water. And yes. And before that we possibly could do <laughs> which I forgot to do that's okay too and I could have a little touch of that here mm -hmm. no lovely and let's have a little bit of doodles so I'm gonna start with this this one here I like to doodle twice sometimes even or most of the time I would doodle twice if not more there we go same for this one yeah, if it's wet obviously it may not work as good I don't mind that because I, I find it quite 
nice when it's not perfect. I love the imp imperfections of it actually. So here is that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, and I think we could try and have a little bit of that um, pink and uh, that, sorry, pigment of that ink running and flowing here. Maybe even of that yellow. Isn't it? How cute is that? Now, that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. We could possibly have a touch of that yellow in places, not everywhere obviously, or nearly nowhere, but just a touch. There we go. Oh, this is so pretty, like, do you know what I'm thinking that? nice to have nearly this yellow here like nearly a sun or something okay wow I love it love it I would say maybe add black here even more so that we have this divine the find kind of way now that's it so let's dry this one. Okay, let's remove the tapes. That shouldn't be difficult. Sometimes the paper rips off as well. I don't know why is that. I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You need to have a special angle when you do the tape thing. But still, even with the angle, with making sure that it's at the right one, it is still sometimes it like now ripping the paper, ripping the paper, unless I'm doing something wrong. So, my beautiful friends, I'm happy to say that our three bookmarks are finished. The question is, which is your favorite? I wonder. I'm gonna say the tulips, but I wonder which is your favorite. Let me know the purple, the blue, or the pink one. I love them all. Three ways for some gorgeous uh, drawing painted flowers. I think it's quite a simple and easy idea. All of these three ideas are fantastic and you can definitely try them yourself. I cannot wait to see your makes. Um, have fun painting, my beautiful friends, and I'll chat to you very, very soon. Thank you so much. Bye.